Smile and learn. Hey there. Today I'm here to tell you about one of the fiercest animals, the shark. Do you want to know some incredible things about sharks? All right, let's begin. The shark is a vertebrate animal and it belongs to the fish group. Sharks are carnivorous and we can find them in almost all seas and oceans. Their size depends a lot on the species. They can weigh from a few ounces to 4,000 pounds. Their length also changes a lot. They can be as small as a cell phone or as big as a truck. Sharks feed on fish, turtles, mollusks, and marine mammals. Although they have attacked people, it's rare and isolated. Anyway, I don't think I'll ever swim with them. There are shark fossils from as far back as 400 million years ago. Wow! So they lived with the dinosaurs. Earlier we said that sharks were vertebrate animals. But did you know that sharks don't have normal bones? Their skeleton is made of cartilage, just like our ears. There are more than 450 species of sharks swimming around the world. And each one has its distinctive features. For example, the whale shark can measure up to 65 feet. And it's the largest fish in the world. The great white shark lives in very cold waters. And it's one of the fiercest. And the hammerhead shark, which has such a strange shaped head, is my favorite. Sharks live all over the world. When factors such as food or water temperature do not meet their needs, they migrate. That means they change their place of residence. Although they are usually loners, sharks can be social and they are able to create bonds. We can say that they like to make friends. Although I don't wanna be friends with them. I don't trust them. Sharks have between 5 and 15 rows of teeth. The great white shark has about 3,000 more teeth, measuring more than 2 inches long. How scary! Since their teeth don't have roots, and they use them a lot, their teeth keep falling out and growing back. It saves them from going to the dentist. Have you ever wondered why we always see sharks swimming? It's because they cannot stop moving. Unlike other fish, sharks cannot stay afloat if they're not moving. For some fish species, it is necessary to constantly swim in order to breathe. And so, how do they sleep? They rest while they continue to swim. They sleep with their eyes open since they don't have any eyelids. How strange. Sharks can detect electrical signals generated by their prey from many feet away. Despite their fierce appearance and tough skin, sharks also have predators. Their most feared enemy is the killer whale. Well, You've already learned a few things about these ferocious animals. See you next time! Hey everyone! Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the most fascinating animals. The jellyfish. Do you want to know some incredible facts about jellyfish? Let's go! Jellyfish are invertebrate animals belonging to the Ceylon Tereda group. They are carnivorous and they feed on plankton, crustaceans, fish eggs, and larvae. They come in many sizes. The largest can weigh up to seven ounces and measures up to 120 feet if we add their tentacles. But they're usually not that big. Thank goodness. 
adult jellyfish are bell-shaped. Their body is jelly-like and they have long tentacles. Here's a fun fact. More than 95% of their body is made up of water. Amazing! Did you know that jellyfish are one of the oldest animals on planet Earth? They've been living here for more than 500 million years. The scientific community considers them the oldest animal in the world. That's older than the dinosaurs. Although they usually live for only about six months, some species are believed to have survived longer because of their ability to reproduce by themselves. Did you know that a type of immortal jellyfish has been discovered? Yup, you heard right! This species, when it begins to age, reverts to a pre-maturation phase that allows it to begin its life cycle again. How cool is that? What if I told you that jellyfish have no blood? They also have no brain, heart, or nervous system. Their senses are very basic and consist of a neural network that differentiates light and dark, and they use sensors to identify their prey. Some jellyfish glow. This characteristic is a way to defend themselves from their predators, thus warning them that they are very toxic. And who are their predators? Some fish, sea turtles, sharks, whales, and even crabs. Poor things, they have so many enemies. There are 2,000 different types of jellyfish, and we can find them in every ocean on the planet. But did you know that there are also freshwater jellyfish? How interesting! Although they live offshore, the currents can wash them ashore. Unfortunately, their presence on beaches is closely related to climate change. The increase in water temperatures creates surface currents that bring jellyfish to shore. Jellyfish tentacles are covered in cells that can sting you just by touching them. They're not very dangerous, but if you've ever been stung, you will know. It hurts a lot. Well, you've already learned a few things about these interesting animals. See you soon! Hey, hey! Today I'm here to talk to you about one of the most hopping animals, the frog. Do you want to know some incredible things about frogs? Here we go! Frogs are vertebrate animals and part of the amphibian group. There are many types of frogs, but they're all carnivores. They eat crickets, butterflies, flies, and basically any insect that comes their way. Frogs, like all other amphibians, live in damp places near water, like rivers, ponds, reservoirs, or even large puddles. Some frogs are tiny and weigh about 0.18 ounces, while others are huge and can weigh up to 18 ounces. And how big are they? Well, that also depends. The smallest frog in the world measures only a few inches, while the largest can measure more than 13 inches. Frogs, along with toads, are tailless amphibians, unlike other amphibians, such as salamanders or newts. That means they don't have tails and they have a flattened shape. There are more than 6,600 species of frogs and toads on our planet. That's amazing, isn't it? Frogs and toads are similar, but they're also different. Frogs have longer limbs and jump higher. And toads have warts on their skin. Ew! They both can live anywhere in the world, 
except in places where it's very cold. And how do frogs breathe? Well, they can do it in two ways. Through their lungs and through their skin. They breathe in two different ways so they can better adapt to the aquatic or terrestrial environment. Do you know how they reproduce? Frog fertilization is external. That means it occurs outside the body. Females lay their eggs in water so that males can fertilize them. In most species, this process takes place in water. Young frogs are called tadpoles. At birth, they have tails and live in water. And when tadpoles grow older, they grow four legs and live on land. This process is called metamorphosis. Most frogs are harmless, but some are very poisonous. The most dangerous ones are easy to identify because they're usually brightly colored. For example, gold, red, or even blue. How beautiful and how dangerous. And do you know what frogs are best at? Jumping. Many frogs are capable of jumping 30 times their normal distance. This is very useful for hunting insects and escaping from their predators, such as snakes, some birds, or even cats. Unfortunately, half of the world's frog species are in danger of extinction. Amphibians are very sensitive to changes in their environment, like the destruction of forests and jungles, or their habitats getting warmer. It makes some species less common. How can we help prevent them from disappearing? It's very easy, by taking care of our environment. Well, you've already learned a few things about these hopping animals. See you next time! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.